Now, in this video, if I promise to give you a script that can make you around 5K by the end of this week, could you promise me, put this in the comments, that you can calm down your short attention spans to stay around around 10 minutes to get the script. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to utilize Google News to earn money. Say that one more time. You're going to make money using Google News. All right, making money online to use Google News. And we have a couple of niches. And just to prove to you, here's the scripts right here. I got two different scripts. So you're definitely going to want to stick around. So how do you make money or earn money online using Google News? All right, so if you have an agency, some type of marketing agency, maybe an AI automation agency, SEO agency, or something like that, this is going to be super powerful for you. If you don't have an agency, you might want to start one. I strongly recommend it. All right, so we're going to look for... Uh, openings. We're going to look for weak points. We're going to look for opportunities to help people. All right. So when we go to Google and we type in our niche, all right, see, the problem is a lot of you guys are all promoting the same things. And that's why you're having difficulty getting people to agree to give you money. All right. So I typed in realtor, right? Now we're going to click on the Google News tab. All right. So we're going to look for a problem that might be able to be solved using marketing or advertising. Okay, so right here, 13 hours ago, it says local realtors pivot after cyber attack shuts down multiple listing service. Okay, that's the MLS for those of you who don't know. So what I have is on the MLS, just in case you don't know, uh, you're right here. Okay. The MLS is a place uh, for a, a good marketing tool for realtors to find buyers for their listings. All right. So when that shuts down, now they're only left with people like you and me that want to charge the money. So they they scared, right? So right now they're in a panic or whatever. So I'm not going to force you guys to, you know, hear me read this entire article or nothing. So we're going to switch over to another niche real quick. And then we're going to go to the scripts that I have for y'all. So make sure you stay so that you can get everything you need. All right. So we're going to close that article right there. But like I said, the method is simply searching the news, looking for a problem, and then using your marketing brain to see if it's some type of service that you can either create or plug in from somebody. Even if you're not the one that's going to do the fulfillment, if you make the connection for that service, then you can get money from that. See, a lot of you guys don't want to promote anything that you don't have skills with. That's cool. Partner, make partnerships. If somebody say, yo, I need a house built. I don't know how to build a house, but guess what? I'm going to go find a house builder. I'm going to ask that house builder, if I bring you money, can you give me a piece out of that? And they're going to say, yeah, then I'm going to connect them. So it's the same thing right here. So I found this problem right there. And I'm going to tell you how to solve that problem in a minute. So now, just to prove this is not a fluke, if you come over here, you type restaurant in and you clicked on the Google News tab, right? So you're going to look for another problem, right? And then it says why some Portland restaurants are closing their doors. All right, so now we're going to open this up. We're going to see why some of these restaurants are shutting down. And I'm going to show you how you're going to make money with both of these niches. All right, so watch this. It says rising costs, minimum pandemic struggles are take toll on small businesses. So the government trying to want, and usually business owners, are the ones that get the worst part of, uh, you know, worst part of, you know, whatever the government is trying to do. So the government is trying to please the civilians, the residents of the United States, the citizens by increasing the minimum wage. That's going to hurt a lot of businesses. They can't, they can't close that out. Now, let me show you guys and then i'm going to show you a couple of the uh offers that you can offer them now if you don't believe me you can say and, and if you want to know where to go and look for something because now we're creating a, an entirely new service guys i told you guys i'm going to show you how to stand out and be unique that's why you want to go to agency the partner in that first pin comment so i can show you how to stand out instead of sending the same offers okay but anyway so now you know what cities have increased their minimum wage drastically and most businesses are going to suffer from that so now you know oh 
oh, I can do your AI automation, blah, 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 blah. Everybody is sending that same dang on message. But what if you approach like, yo, I know you're pretty much behind and you're struggling. You got overhead. You got all other expenses. And then when you do the payroll, it's different now because the freaking minimum wage in Seattle is $17.27. And unless you get funding or loans from some company going to debt to handle payroll, you're going to be dipping into your own profits to keep yourself going, right? This is difficult. And a lot of businesses are closing their doors because of this, but I have a solution. Boom. So what is the solution? For well, let's first talk about the realtors. So the realtors, the problem was the, uh, what is that? The Cincinnati listing uh, service, the MLS is shut down because of a cyber attack. So they need help promoting their buyers, I mean, uh, promoting their listings to get buyers, right? So this is what we say. So make sure you guys stick around for this. Okay, so GC Listing Service has most realtors panicking right now. So it's, it's reasons behind this script, okay? Like how I put together this script. So I name dropped. I always tell you guys, start it off so that they know that you know what you're talking about, so that they know you have insight and you're not just, just blasting some bull. All right, so GC Listing Service has most realtors panicking right now, okay? Then I ask, how are you coping with the shutdown? Now, watch this. Blank, so now we're going to name drop a competitor. We're doing that for a reason. Psychologically, nobody wants to be second place. Nobody wants to be left out. Nobody wants to look like the dummy either, okay? And people are sheep. So it says blank is getting new buyers by doing blank. So that's when you would insert that new service that you came up with that would uh, combat the fact that the listing service has shut down. We have all different types of stuff like, you know, we can do ringless voicemail blast to help them get buyers. We can run ads to get them buyers. There's all different types of things you can do buyers uh, to get buyers for them. But the point is you're name dropping and you're saying, yo, they're doing this. And I'm certain the same thing would help you. So proving to them that is a proven method. Everything is a, is a reason behind everything we're saying. So now we're going to say, we're going to use fur missing out. At 6 p.m. today, I'm showing 50 other realtors Okay, so they're going to think about that like, damn, all right, this city is only so big, man. Pause, right? We don't, I don't want to get it left out. Okay. And they don't want to be experimented on it. They don't think you're working with any, this is why people always want to ask for testimonials because if they don't think you work with nobody, nobody really wants to be the first, right? So I'm showing 50 other realtors how we'll recruit, train, and deploy 250 plus commission only so now it's telling them, oh, you know, I said we're going to recruit and train these people, but they're like, shoot, there's a lot of money if I'm paying for that. No, 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 no. We're going to recruit 250 plus pretty much bird doggers that will use their own network time and money to promote your listing. So that we inserted uh, a, a solution for the problem of that listing service being set down and they'll never have to worry about that again when they have a, a legion, an army of affiliates or our bird doggers in their language doing this promotion for their listings and getting them new listings, no money out of pocket other than uh, how much it costs to set this up. So then we say, how good does 6 p.m. today uh, work for you? And if not, which day? So I don't do all of that. Ooh. How, uh, are you interested in getting on the call right now? Can we talk? Um, you know, do you want to do this or, you know, none of that. You need to assume the sale. You need to assume that they're interested because you have something that can help them, something that's good. So why wouldn't they want it? It'd be kind of dumb if they don't, right? Okay, so you give them choices uh, 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 assuming that they want it. Okay. So how good does 6 PM today work for you? And if not, which day? So now their answer is it doesn't have their mind thinking about a yes or no. I didn't ask a yes or no question. Okay. So now let's come over here. So let's fix the restaurants issue real quick. And then I'm going to show you one of the softwares that can pretty much like help both of them. Okay. So this is a script to help restaurants increase profits after the raise in minimum wage. So we say name drop blank restaurant just told me that they're 
barely surviving after the recent raise in minimum wage. So in in um in affiliate marketing, when you use something like Google News to get sales, it's called uh news jacking, okay, or trend jacking. Okay, so you use current or recent events that is very popular and on everybody's mind at the time to sell products or services. And it works the same way if you have an agency, a marketing agency or something, because this is what's on their mind currently. They're not thinking about Facebook ads or AI automation right now. They're thinking about this problem that they're going through. So be different, y'all. Okay, so it says after the recent minimal, uh, minimum wage raise and they had to lay off a few staff. Then I let them know I know what I'm talking about. It's seventeen dollars in I think it's what twenty seven twenty seven cent per hour now. Then I say, how are you getting by? Then I use another name drop. I say, blank restaurant just recently added a new way to get money from employees. So I'm not going to tell them it's Facebook ads or this or that or this or nothing like that so that they can just come back and be like, yo, I already tried that. I did that before. Yeah, I did that. Yo, I don't care. You ain't did it with me. But it ain't Facebook ads. It's my own unique offer and service. And I strongly suggest you guys start creating your own services that make you unique and stand out to where they can't compare you to somebody else or say they heard that before. So this new way to get money from employees and customers that covers the losses from the wage increase. Boom. Wow. Okay. So usually we don't like to send long paragraphs when we're doing out uh, reach or, or prospecting or something. But with this situation right here, we just wanted to emphasize the point that we know what they're going through. And this is so high ticket, the service that I'm doing is so high ticket that I don't care if we weed out a few people, okay? Like, I don't care if some people be like, oh, I don't want to read all that. Who really wants to deal with a lazy, illiterate person, no offense, that can't read a paragraph that's going to actually help them? Wrong type of person to work with. All right, so then we say, if you add this in the next few days, to your restaurant, you can expect an extra five to nine K after, let me, let me capital, put that in all caps, after overhead and payroll by the next month. So now they're just seeing money. I always tell you guys to talk money to these people. Talk money, baby. Godfather style. Talk, talk cash to them. You hear me? So after overhead and payroll, that means even though the dang old minimum wage went up, after that, you still can pocket about five to nine K. That's take home. That sounds good, doesn't it? So now we say at 7 p.m., I'm allowing 17 other restaurant owners to see how this works. I say allowing, meaning I'm the gatekeeper, meaning if they don't have access to what I want to show them, then they will be victims of this minimum wage crap. So I hold a key like Joe, right? All right, so check this out. What do you think about attending one of the events this week? So I let them know it's multiple events. That way they can't say, oh, I don't have time today. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, choose a day. Like we got multiple events. Boom. So this is the script. These two scripts will help with both of these problems right here, guys. Now, you, you know, as you can see, I didn't, I mean, I already showed you a little bit of the first offer that I'm going to help the realtors with, but I want you guys to use your own brain to come up with a unique service or offer that will help these people with the issues. So go in your city, type in, you know, Los Angeles realtors or, or uh, uh, Minnesota realtors or whatever, whatever it is, and click on a Google News tab and see what you can offer them to, to where you can earn money online uh, or make, make money online, right? But it will help them. It will solve their problem. You might have to create something completely custom, but that's cool because then they won't be able to compare you to nobody else. They won't be able to price shop because nobody else will be doing this service. Google News is how you'll be able to stay ahead as far as being valuable. All right, so now this software right here, uh, this is uh, just delivered is a ringless voicemail service right here. 
So this can be used to get more listings or to promote listings. Like I was saying, this could be you, uh, you know, that's for the realtor. This could be used um, like this is the, the go-to right here. One of the go-tos for us, right? So this can also be used to um, you know, get more people to the restaurants and and everything, create regulars and all of that. So now, these are some of the our, our offers that we have on here. This is why uh, we can get great conversions. If you study this page, go to profitpositioningagency.com. This is our page. You know, this is no uh, uh, opt-ins. Like people have to become an actual customer our partner in order to even like be added to a list. We do that on purpose. There's no opt-in, none of that stuff. We're not going to follow up or beg you or do none of that stuff. And it's not because we're stubborn or anything, but I only want to work with people who are sure that, that we can help them, right? Because we are sure that we can help them. All right. We have an offer up here for $200,000. I strongly suggest you create something like that too, because even if you just got one of those a year, That'll make up for everything that you was doing, depending on your expenses, unless you're a celebrity or something, right? And if you're a celebrity, I don't even know why you're watching this, right? Okay, but anyway, and we have this offer, this offer just, so don't steal my stuff, but study how I come up with unique offers to stand out, right? All right, Um. so I strongly suggest you guys go to the first pan comment, join the membership for agency to partner. You'll learn how to monetize local business partners in 10 different ways on top of what you're already charging them. So if you already got so-called clients, I'll show you how to convert them to partners and pull six figures out of them without having to go and get a million more clients or some crap like that. Okay. Love you guys. See you in the next one.